everyone, welcome back to oh, my channel, I guess. And final five words into a thousand word series. Yeah. I'm recording this video a month after the previous video. <laughs> okay, so um let's just get right into it. I push the camera up so I can cover more space. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but let's see. Let's go and see the the word generator now, okay? Okay, so we are now in the word generator and I'm gonna refresh the list. It's five words as usual. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so I, I sometimes wonder why I do this. But anyway, this is very interesting. There's union, sled, survey, Hutton, Hutton, oh, and shout. Union, sled, survey, Hutton, and shout. Okay, so if you guys do not know what Hutton means, there's this pattern that looks like this. It's a Scottish thing. You know, it's like the, the kind of pattern you would see on a kilt. Yeah, so... I'm going to use that definition. I think that's a bit better than any other possible de definition that I can think of. So for reference, I'll just keep this here. But I will go back to the drawing now. Okay, so we are back here at the drawing and, um, well, once again I had to figure out how I'm going to unite these five words and after not getting practice for about a month, I need to somehow do this quickly. So we have a union, we have a sled, we have a survey, we have tartan, and we have shout. Shout. Okay, I think this somewhat reminds me of Animal Farm for some reason. <laughs> I do not know why, but it reminds me of Animal Farm. Um, oh, it's not a shed, it's a sled. Okay, never mind about Animal Farm. I'm gonna do something really crazy, <laughs> outlandish looking kind of scenario here. So since we have a sled, I'm, I'm reminded of like a wintry, wintry day, like a very snowy day. And since we have the tartan, which reminds me of kilts, we should have a guy wearing a kilt <laughs> going down a sled. <laughs> yeah, sounds perfect. Uh, even though he'll probably be very cold, I think. I don't know how to do union. Hmm. Okay, let's just start with this. Like we can have a union of people who wear kilts. <laughs> and and then um, we can, they're doing a survey of people and they're having like a field day, they have a sledding area, they're doing surveys on people and some of them are shouting to get their point across. Um, okay, so let's draw the sled thing on this side here. Because I don't want to take up too much of the space. I already demarcated my boundaries, I think. So I'm just going to start drawing things. So here we have a snow, a slope, I guess, the slope for sledding. And I have the ground. Okay. So. Yeah, so this is where the sledding will happen. I don't know how to draw this. Maybe don't maybe I shouldn't draw it this way. Mm. I draw a sled first.
and there's someone wearing a, a cute and also winter jacket because it's cold you know the, the one that looks like very fluffy what a beautiful combination <laughs> I just imagine you're kneeling down on the sled because I do not know how people go sledding. The wearing a kilt, of course. I'll color in the kilt without drawing things because I think that seems like an easier way of doing this. Now I just need to erase all these other extra lines. person is wearing a, you know, the winter hat, the woolly mini hat. Okay, so yeah, this this person doesn't hold the sled. <laughs> Very adventurous sledding person. But there's no one else using the sled, so there'll be like a a few over here. There's like maybe two other sleds here that you can actually see. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. Okay, so we have like two sleds and this person sledding down in a queue. Um, and then you have like a bunch of people down here at the union. The union will be around here. Okay, sorry, not union, but the union are these bunch of people. And there are a few people standing here. They're all wearing kilts. And some of them are, wearing, are holding signs.
Christina just looks really stupid. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so there'll be a bunch of people standing here. Actually, why did I choose some a scenario where there's a lot of people? I don't like drawing people. What? What am I doing? Okay, anyways. And then the, they're shouting because they're protesting that, you know. Mm. Wait, yeah. Because when you think of kilts, you know they look like skirts, they, we assume that men wear them so we're gonna have like a protest to to allow women to wear them oh that sounds really weird <laughs> like the weirdest hypothetical situation i can think of okay <laughs> It's very cold today. Everyone else decided not to come and protest and they're sitting inside the building. There's a building here. And also because I'm lazy, I don't want to draw people. Honestly. And this will be the union building. The union of kilt wearers. There'll be a kilt here. Just like a door kind of thing. And for the record, I will just, there'll be like a big temperature sign here. Can you even see it? What am I doing? There's a big temperature sign and then the rest of it is just the rest of the building. So the temperature today, the temperature in that place is so cold. Uh, actually, how cold? Is cold enough for people not to protest? I honestly do not know. <laughs> Let's just say it's like this much. It is very cold. There's some. That's why it's so empty. Like they wanted to have a day, but it's just, just it's just too cold for them to do anything. <laughs> Everyone is just inside instead of being outside. This person is like, oh, the coat can be me. Okay, I'm gonna make it as simple as that. You expected it to be a bit more. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a survey. We need to have someone giving, taking survey. There's another very persistent person who's a lady. And she's standing around here somewhere. Yeah. And she's there. She's here. Um. She's wearing like a nice suit kind of thing.
what am I doing? Okay, so she's wearing something like a suit or something. So it should be somewhat full sleeve, otherwise it will be very cold. Her hand looks awkwardly long, but who cares? She's holding a signboard of her own. Which says surveys. She's also wearing a kilt because why not? Yeah, now we just need to pick some details and we'll start colouring it. So let's first fix this very messed up sled. <laughs> um, even though you probably can't see half of it, I'm still gonna fix it because it just looks so uncomfortable to see. Okay, so you kind of so called fix the sled. The next thing we need to do is to fix this bus up here because it looks a very messy. Don't need to draw this wood. <laughs> um, and of course, this person doesn't have a neck, so I need to give this person a neck. Maybe some longer sleeves because it's too cold. To fix all their hands as well. That looks more normal. It's like a clipboard of some sort. Um, okay, so you're good. You're done. So now we just need to paint this. Sorry, not paint it. Color it. Try to paint it. To be honest, paint doesn't work with this. I'm not gonna kid you. This thing is just dry and it soaks up paint like nothing. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, it's about 20 minutes. Okay, cool. I need to... Oh, I just realized I made it snow. So I don't need to color it. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do about that. I think I'm missing one. Alright. Okay, I'm not missing. Okay. Uh, let's first color the stuff that actually needs colors, like the sled and all that. And I'll tell you what to do about the snow. So we have uh, can color the sled any sled I any color I want as long as it's some kind of brown woodish color it should be clear. So let's color it this nice reddish brown. I think 
I don't have anything else better to do anyway. I like how she's standing at the bottom of the slope. <laughs> she's just ready to get hit by this guy. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Then here we will... Let's, let's try doing this. Let's add some like a silvery colour to this. Color brown on top of that, and see what happens. Pour the This, this color should work. Even though I can't even see anything. Maybe I'll add some of this russet brown to it. But I'm trying to make work here. I said I can color it any color I want, so who cares? <laughs> but, um, actually, as someone who live in a hot country I probably haven't done like I might have gone sledding in uh, in places which are actually cold I think like the um, yeah like for example those places that they they purposely make the place cold and you can sled down this little ramp thing it's pretty fun also but a bit scary if you go backwards <laughs> um yeah but um apart from that there's something that's even more fun than sledding down the slope which i saw it somewhere in china where the rivers were so frozen <laughs> i mean wow would you ever see that here I mean, no. <laughs> so, but the, in China, the since it gets really cold, even in, you know, places that are more skiish, like city places, still get cold. Like the rivers end up freezing very well. And what they do is that um, they put like something that looks like a really small version of a, of a sled, like a little wooden thing that you sit on. And then you have like two little picks to move yourself around and that is really cool and some people are really good at it and they just whoosh 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 all around <laughs> in that thing and it was definitely fun because will I ever experience it here? No. <laughs> okay actually you can technically experience it here if you go to Snow City. I don't know if they, they don't have it in this snow city, but there was one place in Malaysia where they had like their own version of snow city and they actually had this, but in a much smaller scale. So if you really want to try it, but you can't go to China, then maybe the next best place to go is this kind of place. Or maybe another cool place if you live nearby one, I guess. But never mind. <laughs> Mm. I'm gonna make this one a bit green over here.
and as usual, and I'm too lazy to sharpen the pencil. So, be happy with my scratchy lines and well, terrible quality of coloring here. Anyways, so after this, I will color the well, the people, I guess. Just just the people, the building. What else do you expect me to color at this point? And then finally I'll tell you what I do about the snow. So okay, so for for the people they'll all be wearing kilts, so um let me just look at some kilt design and then draw a different one for each of them. I mean get some inspiration from the kilt design. They're usually like red with some blue lines, I think. So I guess maybe we can do that. That's a red one with green and blue lines and then there's a green one with black lines. That's pretty cool. So let's do a bunch of colours. So let's try like red, this ultramarine and uh, leaf green. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Do I draw the lines first or do I colour it first? Let me draw the lines. Then the blue will be this way. Now just colour it in with some red. The thing is just too small because actually in the real cute they have like small squares that they make in between and they they color some of the squares green actually so I don't know but it's kind of hard to do it here. <laughs> uh, let me try and count the other quilts. Okay so for the guy's jacket I'm gonna use this purple because I think it would go really well with the red and the blue or not. Maybe not. <laughs> Who cares? He needs to be warm, so he's wearing nice purple parka. Whatever they call this thing. What do they call this? I don't know. And he's he's wearing. Yeah, and his sleeves have like a kind of a dark color, so I'm gonna use Prussian blue for that instead of using black. And for his hat, um, his hat maybe his hat should match his sleeve. I'm gonna go with uh. this Prussian blue here and since wearing this purple parka we can have like a purple border here and a pom pom oh they kind of just look like a pom pom that's nice okay so now I need to color his face I don't want to try extreme extra shading ish kind of techniques here because one, his face is so small, and two, it already looks like a cartoon. It doesn't look like a real face, to begin with. Mm. I think there's this thing called light yellowish brown. It looks somewhat legit. This is the one. The, the thing that I use. Wait, he's only wearing shoes, right? Why do I have to cover that in skin tone? Uh, let me get some black or something for his shoes. Okay, 
Okay, same for allergy now. Okay, so next I will. I don't really know what to shade this now because it's just so small. I can't do much with it. <laughs> Anyway, let's just move on to the other people because the important thing here is the pill, not the people, right? Right, <laughs> okay. So let's get another blue. We are gonna use this blue as a background and I'm gonna use orange because we would not have a, one of these pictures without orange in it. And after sharpening it, for some reason, it didn't get rid of this. Okay, I did something. So I'm gonna draw some orange lines here. And then I'm going to use some slightly smaller ones. And color some of them orange beforehand. A modern version of a skip. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um, the point is to have some kind of a tartan pattern, so I guess this works, right? Right? Does this work? Is this considered tartan? There's actually a website where you can create your own square tartan thing, and um, and well, yeah. I'm presuming she'll be wearing something like pantyhose or something because otherwise it'll be very cold. I think. Uh, so I first give her like a more ivory ish looking skin tone. I don't know what kind of skin tone that is, but it's something. And then, using this browner color, I'll give some shading. Give a bit more color to, you know, her face. Since he's wearing pantyhose, I'll use some brown maybe to give the impression that she's wearing some kind of pantyhose because when people wear pantyhose it just makes their skin look darker I think wearing some fashionable green heeled boots for some reason actually you can't even see the heel so who cares and to match her, to match her kilt, she'll be wearing. Mm, you use this ultramarine. You know, draw some sleeves or something. Collar, I mean, not sleeves. And.
you know, color in her so-called suit thing, blazer, whatever that is. And with the black, we will give it a bit of some buttons and stuff like that. And since she likes kilts, her hairstyle will also incorporate a bit of it. But it'll be like a normal hair with some stripes, I guess. Uh, give her some brown, brown hair, I guess. Brown hair would work, I think. Or like a reddish brown also would work, I think. Let's use a normal brown. And in the middle of the brown hair, we will have like, um, let's just go all out and use some orange stripes in the between. Then the rest of it will just be brown hair. But I need to sharpen this. The reason why I'm not sharpening it in front of this is because you know it makes that noise and some people may actually like the noise. It makes it so hard for me to sync the audio <laughs> with the video. Otherwise it looks so weird. Like honestly. But if it still makes a the noise then I have no choice but to sync it. And then for her eyes, uh, you will give it a blue. blue eyes. Okay, so next the sign. We need to color the sign. So let me just do that quick. For this guy, so give it a And this one will be a pretty plain looking color. Mm. I mean, plain as in like a light pastel color. We'll color it green so it sticks out amidst the, you know, the snow. If you're asking about the speech bubbles, I will not do anything to them. Just leave them as it is. Okay, so next we have the kilt that the guy is wearing. Um, the green color kilt, so I'm gonna make it green. Like uh, this kind of a green. The phone is still recording, it's about 40 minutes in. Oh wow. Okay, so for the green, I'm gonna use some brown and Van Dyke. Sorry, Van Dyke brown and black. I'm going to use some black for this one. That's the Van Dyke Brown which I kept using. And 
and from here you can just cut a few squares off Okay, so now that we are done with that, let me color it green. Let me see if I can use something else like, oh this peacock blue would look nice I think. Let's use this peacock blue, which actually just looks green but who cares. It's a nice little quilt we got here. And this person is wearing some pants because once again it's cold. Wearing some black pants to complement his skill. And he's wearing some some green shoes as well. Now they all have green shoes. This guy is just a visitor. These people actually belong to the union, so they wear they have green color shoes for some reason. Don't ask me why. <laughs> so if you haven't figured out what the story is yet from whatever I just said earlier, basically the there's a union of people who like kilts and they want to have a petition to allow I mean, not allowed to to make it more recognized that women could also wear kilts or something. And then, um, because of that, because of what? Because of that, I need. I want to color his blonde for some reason, or maybe like red. Red. Let's color it red. This would be like the weirdest red to be using, honestly. Just do it very lightly, then add some brown at the end. Press that reddish brown. I think that would go well with this. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. I kind of look like a lady though. Oops. Never mind. The reddish brown is nicely taking over here. This this person is pretty um I'll give them an ivory colour too and we're gonna use some pink too. Give some more. Okay, so What are we doing again? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a story here. Sorry, I think I forgot about that entirely. <laughs> uh, actually, what would go with green? Red. Oh yeah, red. Hmm. Get light. Like, this carmine. Why does carmine look so pink? I thought magenta was the only thing that's supposed to look pink. Anyways, um, the story is that there is a union of people who wear kilts, and one day they, and one day they wanted to, to have an event where they can advocate for women wearing kilts, and they had like this event, like the sledding event and all that. But um, for some reason, it became really cold on that day, and well, they all had to go in, and only these three people are out here 
you know, doing what they need to do. And unfortunately, no one is around to see them, and I don't know why they are doing this. This person is shouting, this person is in, somehow enjoying a sled ride, and this person is asking for surveys. Yeah. For the clipboard, I'm just going to colour it black because like the back side of the clipboard. So, also because if I colour it some other colour, it will just look too colourful. So I think the black one, black colour would kind of go well with the already colourful outfit. Okay. So... Obviously, I wasn't trying to go for realism here. <laughs> this is definitely not realistic. The only thing that's gonna, that I'm gonna attempt to make look realistic is the snow. Because I don't care about people looking realistic. Okay, so now we just need to colour this building and we just colour the snow and we'll be done. Yes. So for the building, we will... I don't know, what the building... What colour should I colour it? I just want to give it a pretty basic looking colour. But at the same time, it has to stand out from the snow. So, um, 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 um. Let's give it this chrome yellow. You know? It's a nice light colour, but it still stands out. I didn't bother using a ruler to draw this. How brilliant of me. Maybe it's not their actual building, but like a your tent thing that they put in, put up. So it doesn't have to be straight. Well, okay anyway. Okay, if this thing didn't meet your expect expectations, then I'm sorry I... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what happened in the first one. It'll become better in the next one, don't worry. <laughs> and once again, I, I feel like this is more of a creativity thing than me trying to draw things well. Because one, I, I do not specialize in coloring pencils or something. Especially with these kind of, on this kind of paper, not very helpful. And two, uh, if I want if I want to draw a weird scenario, it's gonna be hard to draw it out entirely with my own, whatever I can think of that looks like snow and all that. So, yeah. As you can see, it looks really scratchy. <laughs> oh man. Let me try to improve that a bit. No, it's not working. Definitely not working. Ah oh, man. I'm not even trying to push it hard or anything. It's just scratchy. Anyways. So the next part is to... Is to color the union sign. For that I will first color this lilac color, this particular board of some sort. See if I don't color it in the full color this looks grainy. Once if I press it too hard it becomes scratchy. Why? <laughs> Why? Maybe maybe this just isn't the right color pencil to use if you want really nice picture so uh oh well I guess they're supposed to use something like what Faber Castell or um something else maybe stub below I don't know
And since this is the sign, the cute here will be like a very stereotypical idea of a cute, the red color one. I think red color is more stereotypical than well. Oh, I didn't draw someone playing a bagpipe, but there is no bagpipe here, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm too lazy to draw that right now. I've already spent too much time on this. I just pop on, use some blue instead. And for the union, I will be using the Van Dyke Brown because I feel like that's better than using black. It looks a bit more natural. And for the temperature, actually it's all green the other way around, like the display will be like black in colour and then the words are in white. So I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing this. Maybe I'll just erase this first and then shade this in black. If I shade it lightly, you cannot see it won't fill in the see the temp these things will be not covered. This actually works. I don't really need to cover color it white or anything. There we go. Temperature. <laughs> I think I need to color it a bit more solidly though. Otherwise it doesn't really show up properly. Try covering it a little bit more solidly. As you can see, if I try to write with the white color, it doesn't work. So you just have to depend on that temperature, 20, negative 25, yeah. And of course, as you can tell from that, it was probably taking place in a place where people were killed. Scotland, maybe, I don't know. Is it, taking, it could be taking place in Scotland. Makes more sense. Anyways, um... Those are the glass doors. Let me just give a bit of a blue sheen to them. And actually that's what I'm gonna do with the the snow as well. But not necessarily blue. I can also make it a bit grayish based on how clean the snow is. If the snow is clean then you can use blue. If it's a bit dirty, like people stepped in it, then you'd use grey. So first I will color some blue here and there because not people can step everywhere, right? So if I color some blue very lightly like this give an impression that there's something there that's reflective. Okay, so we have that, then we have this.
Then this part also. Okay, so you're done with that. Now you will go in with some warm grey to give a bit of shadowing and also a bit of, you know, making the snow a little bit more unpristine, less pristine than you originally thought it was. Actually, you can use it to, move, to draw your shadows as well. So I use this for the shading part. And maybe I'll use a lighter grey if I can find it. If not, I just have to use this. This actually seems like a good way to do some shading here. So since this is like a little slope thing, this part will be like a bit of a shadowy backdrop. some slightly lighter shading because people are definitely stepped around here and yeah here we are we have our so-called completed drawing <laughs> uh, that looks okay I think it's about one hour now and I think we are done. Yay, so yeah, once again I'll tell you the, the story. We have a union of kilt lovers who wants to protest for women wearing kilts. But when they arranged the event, it was too cold and everyone is inside except for these three <laughs> people. And with that, um, let me just remove all these. Oh god. Sorry. Just remove all these eraser shavings or something. Okay, so with that, I would, um, if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button and subscribe. And if um, there's nothing else for me to say, if you have any feedback, put it in the comments below. And with that, I would like to say thank you and bye.